and welcome back to some more Valheim. Alright, so me and the wife, we're currently traveling southwards, going to check out the Hobbling Cavern, and there's a big mountain up there, so hopefully we will find motor, or at least a vague beaser towards motor. Now, the wind isn't really doing us any favors, but we will, we will see. Now, I do have a harpoon with me in case we run into a sea serpent, but we will see. Okay, so we're up on the mountain. We went through a dungeon and we saw something interesting at the very top here. I presume that is part of Hilder's quest. So right now we're just slow and steadily climbing up the entirety of the mountain. So we will see there's still no clue of where Moder could be, but this looks promising. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. There's a different kind of shade of ice on this thing, but let's... Uh, Let's see, let's kill a little bit of a dragon, maybe. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, hopefully there's a vague beast right about here. Ah, there's a dragon. Where's the dragon going? Okay, there's a couple of weird creatures here. Is there a vague beast? Come on, attack me. Wolf. Yeah, I'm full already. No vague beast. Okay, okay. Well, let's continue upwards. It would be fun if Motor was just at the top of this thing. It's a possibility. Okay, what is this then? Hmm, looks interesting. Well met. Well, that's Huglin, all right. Let's see, what's your step, warrior? I have a feeling that this place could be more challenging than one might expect. Okay, so another one of these, eh? Oh, this is an entrance, so... Well, okay, looks... looks interesting. Let's give it a go. Okay, then we're ready to give this one a go. Howling Cavern. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. What can we expect from this place? Looks like any other place. A little bit more foggy, maybe. Yeah, let's start by going this way. Ancient cave markings. Um, looks like it's the same ones that you get any place. Nothing to the left. Okay, straight forward maybe. Oh, that's a one-star bat. Okay, never seen one of those before. Another one-star bat. Okay, they're not too powerful. That's good at least. But if we face a million of them, that could be a problem. Maybe. Okay, let's take them on the left. I saw some bats. Oh, there's a door. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's do a little bit of sneak. What is that? What the hell is that? Gariafa? Okay, all this uh, seems like a job for... Oh, you bastard. That's a big wolf. Okay. Well, come on, Gariafa. What is he doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. That's a billion of these things. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, there we go. Right. Was there anything hidden? Oh, more wolves. Oh boy, even more wolves. Let's see, I don't have the buff anymore. Okay, yeah, but uh, I think I need some help from the wife. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. She managed to kill the rest of them. I thought she would die, but she did not. Okay, so the first time it doesn't do much, but if I do a little bit of black attack, that hurts, but it's not the end of the world. You know, and a little bit of backstab damage. A little bit of like a show. And be a little bit careful with that attack. And go back in. Hit and right behind him. Look, look, there we go, again, and this is going fantastic, there we go, Ish. ooh, Rafa Trophy and Hildir's, well not, okay, a silver chest this time, hmm, interesting, yeah, property of Hildir, please return it, he's giving you an icy stare, okay, well, since it's my wife who managed to do all the work, she can get the trophy, right, but let's have a thorough look and see if we missed any chests, perhaps, Oh, well, there's a wolf, but I think that I can manage that on my own. Maybe. Yeah, okay, so just the big wolves aren't that much of an issue. But when there's a hundred of them, yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem. Let's see. Anything there? Okay, more wolves. Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah right. The gods from are merciful. <laughs> I didn't lose any more skills, that's something. Okay, I do more damage than my wife, but she is definitely the tanker one now. And she still has the buff. Where is he going? There we go. Okay, this is definitely a two-person job. Oh, more wolves. Three of them. Let's see... Anything else? Really? There's loads of ways to go, but that's just a fang. Um, okay. No? I don't like the small corridors. Yeah, door over here. Wait, nothing? Really? Maybe it was only that one boss? Perhaps. I mean, yeah. This seems like it was it. Hmm. Okay. And this way there's nothing? Maybe? Ah, uh, there's something up here. Maybe. And just going at it a little bit slow. Yeah. Okay. 
I think we managed to do everything. Hmm. Well, yeah, I should definitely have made a silver armor set for me too. Hmm. No chests, eh? Well, except for this one, silver chests. Huh? Might as well go to Hildir and see what that is all about. It's weird that this was silver and the plains one was... Huh? Oh, okay, I mean, sure. Okay, let's see what we get from Hildir this time then. Last one was a bronze one, even though that boss was way more difficult. I think at least. Okay, greetings Viking. Okay, so here we have the beaded stuff, nothing more than that, and push. Then must uh not gonna challenge, but you won't regret. Okay, and more blah 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 blah. Oh, loads more stuff. And let's see. Shawl. Okay. Cape tunic red. Red tunic accompanied by a cape, you say. Okay, that sounds interesting. But yeah, it is just cosmetics. Well, let's uh, spend more money. Let's see, I hope yeah, I can sell stuff too. There we go. Uh, let's see. Tied head scarf yellow. That's, that's interesting. Shawl dress. Hmm. Yeah, let's buy one of those. Let's buy a uh, cape tune. Other than that, uh, maybe tied head scarf. And that should be everything new. Okay, let's see. What do we have to work with here? Uh, Excuse me? Am I Santa Claus right now? It also said it had had a cape. Oh, it does. Hmm. Well, I am Santa Claus, apparently. Okay, what about the dress? Ah, fancy, sure. Headscarf? Yes, looking like a pirate. Okay, well, it, it, it's something. I have no more valuables, but I still have a fair bit of gold, so we will see. I mean, hmm. I mean, there's only one more, and that is the smoldering tomb. Yeah, because Howling Tomb, Seal Tomb, Smoldering Tomb. Hmm. I mean, this is fairly close to the Bone Mass, yeah? I mean, maybe... Not sure what the fastest way to get there is, but yeah, let's uh, continue to explore the mountain. Well, maybe there could be Molder down there. My wife just noted something glowing, perhaps. Okay, she can go down there, and I'm gonna explore what's at the very top. And I might as well do the trick that my wife is doing, just, you know, using the hoe, so that you have some place to stand on. I believe that I taught her this trick, but I had forgotten about this trick. Okay, come on, motor. You know you want to be here. Huh? No, no motor up here. It's um, a very tall mountain. That it is. Let's see. Yeah, I see. Okay, my wife almost died. Where did the dragon go? I saw a dragon. Okay, there we go. Okay, I need to be a little bit careful with running down. I hear another dragon. A couple of dragons, actually. I think that I'm just gonna jump in a void. It's hard to see if there's any more dungeons around. I'm not 100% sure if the Howling or Ice Caves, if they have a Vague Weezer. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, no Vague Weezer here. A little bit of arrows. Oh, a little bit of Divide and Conquer sure helped. Let's see. Because my wife did found, find Vague Weezer. And apparently it is underneath the other Howling thingamajig. I'm not sure if there's a point to getting all of them. Stamina and more jumpy jumps. Ow. There we have it. Nice. You know, that's, that's another reason to get a wife. Yeah, okay, so right down there. Hmm. Now we don't really have a portal close to that thing, so I guess we could just sail down there too. Because we do have all the eggs we need. And I don't think there's a reason for us to be on this continent. I kind of want to. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to try one of those, but I guess we will give it a go to kill Motor, because I think we're ready for that. I made a couple of arrows, silver arrows. I think she's susceptible to spirit damage. But yeah, okay, let's uh, head down the mountain. Down the mountain we go. Okay, just try not to lose footing. Ow. Ow. Yeah, fall damage is definitely ooh, a little bit of a pain. Let's see, we might as well just go straight towards the water. Uh, looks like the wind might be with us. And since we're going over the ocean, I might as well take the harpoon with me. Ooh, my wife is under attack by a troll. There we go. Okay, there we go. And onwards. Let's see, we're going this direction. Now, I did forget the harpoon, but yeah, that's probably going to be fine. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Poison? Not sure how, but my wife did poison me. Fishy. Fishy, fishy. Alright, just keep a lookout for sea serpent. Okay, I saw a splash underneath the water, and that's interesting. And we definitely need to stop the fish soon, because the fish tacos or fish wraps, they're quite good. Oh, the wind is at our back, so this should be fine. Fine, just fine. 
I mean, since we are going to get motor, I mean, we might as well uh, take that howling cavern again just to see if we get another chest. If that's going to be silver too, if that has, if it is worth it, or if you're just supposed to take one of each. Hmm. I guess we will see. Let's see, should we go, uh, okay, maybe a little bit this way. Further down, I'm not sure. I mean, there's a chance that it was this mountain that we're looking at. Not that easy to judge distance in this game, but I mean, it is a big mountain, so maybe, maybe, just maybe. Okay, but this, is this, is this meadows? It looks like meadows. Still haven't encountered a single sea serpent, that's interesting. Well, I guess it would be faster to just run on foot. Yeah, I do believe that that should be the mountain that we're looking for. Okay, let's go to port here. Now, this is a lot of onions. Right, let's continue. And we're running. Yep, this looks like it could be a big, big mountain. If it starts from here and goes all the way to the top, maybe. Okay, well, since Huggin didn't come and warn us about this one, hmm, yeah, I mean, it's probably not an issue. Oh god, more dragons. I am using the needle arrows, I should probably save those for motor. And there's also a couple more eggs here, so we might not even need to teleport any of the eggs. Yeah, but I think that our priority now should be mother which should be now yeah this is a big mountain a big 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 mountain and my wife is screaming there we have it now let's just have a look around to make sure there aren't any weirdos oh this seems like a good as place as any and we have a safe area and of course it's now started snowing where did that dragon go there or if the poison damage does that okay let's have a look see how many eggs do we need Oh, three. Well, three eggs, we do have that. Yeah, I am severely overweight. Okay, here we go. I do believe that I can plant all of them and then press the button. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna keep one in my inventory. Ah, maybe. I'm gonna be stupid. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you just have to press the button and then Mulder should appear. Now, I'm not sure if Mulder changes the weather, so maybe... Maybe we should wait a day, perhaps? Well, might as well prepare a little bit. Some HP potions could come in handy. Well, our daughter just woke up, so I guess motor will be something that we handle probably tomorrow. Hopefully. We will see. But, uh, yeah, we did at least manage to take down one of those howling caverns. So we will see what happens when we do it again. But yeah, up next is motor. After that, we can create the artisan table, windmills and everything. And then it's just a little bit of plains farming. And then... I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, we're going to test with the Howling Cavern if we need to do all of these or if the next one is the Smoldering Tomb, which probably is in the swamp. Uh, but yeah, and then we need to find the Agleth. I mean, there's quite a big uh, plains area over there and there was also a very big plains area on this thing that went quite a bit, uh, quite a bit around. Okay, but we will see any out right now. I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.